Hey guys, Solomon here. What I'm going to show you in this video is how to connect the Web, Web Studio on cloud that I created in a previous video, um, connected to an on-prem data center. In this case, I'm just using my laptop, uh, which happens to have an Oracle database on it. So I'm going to connect to it, and I'm going to configure an Oracle data source from my Web Studio on cloud, um, and I'm just going to issue a quick test connection to confirm that it does work. So let's get started. All right, so if I go to bluemix.net, go to catalog, type um, secure gateway, you will get access to this secure gateway from IBM. And this is the one that we're going to end up creating. In this particular case, uh, I've already created one instance of it, which I can create multiple gateways. Um, do look up at the documentation. It is very, very useful, and it shows you a lot of great stuff. For example, here's a visual that shows you how you can connect your on-prem or your backend system, in this case, my laptop, to the cloud. So let's get started. Again, um, the create, all it does just create you an instance of it. And if I can show you in here, um, if I click on my dashboard, as you can see, here's the secure gateway that got created. If I click on it, it will take me to the one that I created, which is called Solomon in this case. And as you can see, it's red because I am not connected. But if I add another gateway, which is what you do the first time you actually create that one. As you can see, I can call it, let's say, test gateway, whatever name you want to give it, to connect. It gives you multiple options here. Uh, one of the options is to just download the software piece to install it on your desktop, on your data center. Um, the second option is um, basically we dockerized it, so you could just install it from within a Docker container. So if you know what Docker is and you have Docker um, on your system, you can just simply pull that particular... Um, um, do the installation through Docker. Um, or, of course, for more advanced cases, um, and if you have uh, a data power, you can configure your data power as well to actually do that particular, uh, to be the gateway between the cloud and IBM or our on-prem um, um, data center in this case. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and delete this um, um, test one because I'm not interested in it. So let me show you how what you need to do to actually start the gateway. Um, once you do the installation of that piece of software that I showed you, under IBM, you will have Secure Gateway Client. If I click on it, um, it will ask me, do you want to run? And of course, the answer is yes. It will go ahead and establish that communication. And as you can see in here, um, it's now enabled. I have that. Um, the next thing I want to do is I want to add my host and port that I'm trying to expose um, onto the access list. And um, let me get the host name first on my system, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I got the host name on my system. I'm just going to go ahead and um, click Enter in that window, the Secure Gateway window. Do A to add. Um, I'm going to paste my host. And the port, for those of you who run Oracle Database, the port I'm trying to expose is 1521. This is part of the URL when you connect to it. Um, and that's all that I need to do from the gateway perspective. Um, if you click on um, edit and view, you will see um, that this is kind of the information about it. If I click on the I information, uh, let's just take it back, I'm sorry. If I click on the actual secure gateway, uh, if I click on the view edit, you'll see that this is the actual port that I had created in 1521 and this is my host name. Um, you click on this I, and as you can see, it tells you which host which host and port you need to connect to from the cloud, and this is the one that's going to come to your system. So the way it works is it uses this IP address, host name, and port number to get to your data center, and once in the data center, it will use whatever you added in the access list. And as you can see earlier, I showed you, I added my host and 1521 for my port. So I'm just going to copy this one. So before we move on to actually do anything different, one of the requirements you have to do in the Web Sphere Application Server on Cloud is in the VM, we restrict all activities. So we need to open the outbound port. And, and let me show you how you can do this. Um, you can just open a secure connection and, um, um, uh, to, and to, to, to the VM where Web Sphere is located. And you can find that, of course, I'm talking about this particular host, and you have the password, whatever password that you can access. Um, in this instance, I already have a secure connection open, and you just issue the command IP tables minus I output minus P TCP. 
Um, and as you can see, I'm opening the port 15840. And this is the same port that you see in here, which is we're going to be using 15840. And that's the one that's going to allow me to, to kind of leave the web certification server on cloud and come to the to my data center in here. So let's, let's get to um, the web certification server on cloud. I'm just going to go ahead and log in to my web certification server. And I'm just going to go to um, my resources and I will um, go to data sources. Again, this is all typical stuff, nothing, nothing special here. I have an Oracle data source created already and I want to show you the URL for that Oracle data source very quickly. So at least to get an idea of how the URL would look like. As you can see, for those who are familiar with it, it's JDBC calling Oracle thin. And then instead of the host, I put the value that I copied earlier from the gateway. And as you can see, it's using port 15840 and then calling and then um, my Oracle instance. And this is basically, I'm, I'm using the secure gateway to come in. Once it gets in that 15840 with this particular host, it's going to be mapped to the actual host name um, and port 1521 on my system. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the test connection right now and see how that goes. Okay, so let me just expand this one a little bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and do test connection. And as you can see in here, connection is successful to my um, Oracle instance that is local. If I go back to um, the gateway, um, and you can see there's one connection that got opened to, um, I guess it got opened and closed. Uh, but there you have it. Now I'm able to connect my on-prem web here on cloud to my local database very easily, as you can see, very quickly without any effort really for me to do that. You can imagine how powerful that would be for you when you're trying to test your code, for example, if you write it um, in, um, and you try to test and see how that works, assuming you're using the cloud for development um, like I am right now with access in my desktop. I um, look forward to more future videos from Solomon. Thank you so much for your time.